What's up everybody, it's Dr. McVeary here, and today we are talking about active learning in the mathematical classroom. And it's not just about having fun or using the latest gadget. You really want to build in specific principles and practices of mathematics. Like take for example, attending to precision. I think this is a great way to integrate the use of Google Docs and attend to precision. I mean, sure, it is much easier to write equations on paper and to give those out and to collect them. And it does add some friction for both you as a teacher and the student to create equations in Google Docs. But if you do that, I think you're modeling as a teacher efficient ways to attend to precision. Why? Well, attending to precision means, one, you're providing clear definitions in the discussions with others. And you're going to have to do that when you're teaching and learning how to write equations um, in Google Docs. Second, you have to state the meaning of symbols. Not, and with the what I'm going to show you in Google Docs, not only do you have to state the meaning of symbols, but they're also categorized and grouped. So the student gains a deeper understanding of what those symbols mean in mathematics. And finally, you also have to express numerical answers with some kind of degree of precision. I mean, that's what attending to precision is. And that's easier to do in Google Docs than often trying to read children's chicken scratch. So what do we wanna do? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, add a quadratic equation into Google Docs. So our first step is just go open up a new doc. All right, I'm going to wait a second. Okay, you have it there. Now, in your blank document, you have two options. You could just go up to insert. See it right there? See? You can just go up to insert. You can see it right there. And, or you can go to view and choose add equation toolbar. Both of them add the equation toolbar. And you'll see a few things. You have your Greek letters. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. You know the deal. Then you have your operators. You know, your multiplication, divisions, plus, minus signs. Next, you have your equal signs, uh, your greater thans, your smaller. You know, for us teachers of young children, the alligators. Now, I know that it's not mathematical precision talking about greater than and less than chomping up things, but I get to go chomp, chomp, or chomp, chomp. And so sometimes it's okay to mix a little fun with precision. Next, you have your mathematical operators. This is where you can find divisions or fraction bars or if you need to do roots. And then finally, you have a set of arrows for different equations. And we're gonna practice this by working together to create the quadratic equation in Google Docs. So the first thing we do is hit new equation. Now, I need to look at this equation. Attending to mathematical precision means to be able to understand this. So what I see is I need an x equals. And then I need a fraction. So I'm going to go to the mathematical operators, choose the fraction. And now I need to set up the opposite of b and the plus or minus, plus minus sign. And that's under the miscellaneous operations. And I select that. Now I need to add the square root sign for the radical. And I picked it right here. And I can start to type. So B, now there's two choices here for the superscript for the square. I can go up and use the um, math operations, or I can just hit Shift 6 and then 2. Now I need to get out of superscript, so I hit Return to do that. Add in my minus for a C. And now I need to get out of the radical, so I enter enter. And I'm also done with my numerator, so I'll hit enter again and add in the 2a. And that is how you add the quadratic equation in Google Docs.